What it do, Aries? What's going on, on, on with y'all today? I am back and I'm here to do an energy checkup for us, okay? Um, if y'all have any specific concerns y'all would like me to check into, and I'm sorry about kicking this thing, it's by my foot. <sighs> but if y'all have some specific things that y'all want to check into, um, feel free to email me at charmbyshantia.com. I do these readings on YouTube for free, the general readings. I do have, um, personal readings that I charge for. Um, that's more to go more in depth of a situation. But if you just got a general question and you're concerned about something that's going on in the world right now, and if I can, um, get the answers from spirit, I will definitely do that. So, y'all let me know. I'm, you know, building this channel as I go, but mostly focus on, um, you know, getting in, getting more getting more in touch with my Ram fam, okay? So, like I said all the time, and like I say all the time, y'all comment. Holla at a sister. Let me know what's going on. If you're doing bad, say I ain't doing too good. If you're doing good, say I'm doing great. Uh, you know what I'm saying? If you got some advice for somebody, put it in the comment section. We all in this shit together, y'all. Okay? Ain't nobody bypassing this shit. Ain't nobody um going through something no less than the other person. Okay? We all need some guidance sometimes. Even myself. I want y'all to understand that when I'm doing these readings and when I get messages from spirit, they apply to me most of the time as well. I am in the equation. I'm an Aries, okay? I'm an Aries too. So I am in the equation as well. Okay, y'all. Enough rambling. Let's see what spirit has for the beautiful sign of Aries today. This is some more thick color, y'all. I see some people on here shuffle this dick. And I be like, Lord have mercy. They strong as hell, some of their hands. My little hands are delicate. <laughs> I can't shuffle these cards. They thick. They are a modern witch tarot. I love the cards, but yes, they thick, baby. They ain't thin. And then the dick, thick too. Thicker than a sneaker. Okay. What do you have? Y'all saw that? The Nine of Wands. First card out. Let's see what's going on with you, Aries. What's going on with you? Oh, okay. Aries. We got the Seven of Swords. Um, okay. And we got the Eight of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Okay. <sighs> for, for, a, this is not going to resonate with everybody. Like I always say in the messages, take them as it resonates. But for some Aries out there, male or female does not matter. You are... At a loss of words over a situation. Now you apply this as it as it as it resonates. Like I said, it's either a job or as I'm getting a relationship. A relationship has ended or is ending. You feel like the person is getting away from you and it's really hurting you. Um, you feel like this person may have walked away from a relationship already, which I feel like maybe this person has, okay? Um, this could have been a past person, because as you can see on this card, she's looking back. So it could be a past person, somebody you probably was involved with. Maybe you decided to walk away from the situation, and it's pain and you, it's hurting you to do so. But an Aries out there is grieving over a relationship that is ending, I'm also hearing like you feel like they are the one that got away, okay? The one that got away. 
We got the eight of wands. I meant the nine of wands, the two of cups, and the seven of swords. Now, some of you all got the hangman. Some of you all, I was just going to say with the hangman, might have been in a relationship with this person and it kept you lingering um, around, okay? But this person was very sneaky and very manipulative some kind of way. So you pretty much did not, you know, you heard over the fact that you let them get under your skin again. Yep. The Queen of Swords. Yep, you mad at yourself for letting somebody get on your skin, Aries. Let them get on your skin and letting them get to you. And all this person did was pretty much, you know, Seven of Cups. They was a liar and a cheater. They were sneaking. They had options. Probably messing with more, several females. Several males take it as a plot. Okay? But this person hurts you, Aries, okay? We also gonna get some tea leaves and some more oracle cards. We'll see. However long this goes to see what well the chariot. Either way, you're moving forward. You're moving forward. And honestly, you may be moving forward, uh, once again, for some other areas. Like, we had a reading that was similar to this before. But I'm feeling like, you know, you you moving towards somebody that's way better. Or a situation that's way better. Like, if you can tell on a chair, it's the yin and the yang. It's two. So it's going to be two. This person ain't going to make you feel like you some kind of damn option. This may also seem like it's moving a little fast um, for you, Aries, but Ace of Pentacles. But this person does want to offer you something solid. They do want to offer you some real love, okay? This has been coming up in a lot of readings. So if this has not happened to you or is not happening to you at the moment, it will be happening, okay? Just continue to be patient and work on yourself, okay, Aries? This energy ain't around for nothing. For some of y'all, you're going towards a twin flame, okay? Do I know? I take the four ones, but not the page of ones, okay? All right, so the four ones... Yeah, this person want to offer you something solid. Again, there may be talks of moving in together. Y'all may be working together, starting the bids together. This energy has been around for a long time, Aries. So, this it means that this portal is open for this energy to go forward. Now, for some of you, Spirit is saying you, you're not being as open to it as you should. Being wounded from the past has you not as open to it. And baby, do I understand that? I understand, but I'm also practicing um, my being more in my feminine energy and being receptive, okay? We got the two of wands. Okay. So, I'm getting like this, the energy from this person pretty much knows what you want, okay? They kind of, they, they, they match your fly, I say, okay? They really know what you want, the ace of wands. They know that you want um, a new beginning, you want a beginning without no bullshit, you want a relationship without no bullshit, so they come without that bullshit, the tower. It's going to be a shock to the system for you, Aries. You, you're not going to believe how fucking genuine this person is. But they actually are. We got the Knight of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Um, this is Earth energy, okay? Um, we also have Aries Leo Sag energy. 
um, Taurus, uh, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Um, I'm feeling cancer. The person that may have hurt you in the past may have been a, a air sign, or they might have been a um another fire sign or a um a water sign. Just take it as it resonates, okay? Yes. So yes, this person wants a new beginning. Okay, they they coming in to end the bullshit. All the playing games, all the, you know. All that I'm feeling like this person is pretty mature, okay? This person is pretty mature. This might be an older man. The levels. All right, my Aries. Bottom of the day, we got the night on one. So, I'm feeling like this may be an older man to a younger woman. Or a young, um, younger woman to an older man. Just taking it as it resonates. But I'm feeling like an older man to a younger woman, okay? Um... Because I said mature. Um, maturity doesn't really depend on age, but let's be real. People that are in the younger age bracket, you don't really start uh, maturing until you're about 36. I think they said 36 is the age that you start maturing and actually start seeing the world for actually what the fuck it is. So, um, yeah. So this person is much more mature. They'll know how to handle you. They'll know how to treat you, Aries. They won't be about that bullshit, okay? They ain't gonna be about that bullshit. Don't you be on that bullshit. They ain't gonna be on that bullshit, Aries. <laughs> okay. And, and might I add, they might be a pretty good lover as well. Okay? We got some cards here that represents the male energy okay i'm just put it like that um we got the hangman and i'm just gonna let y'all go with that as you will all right <laughs> but that's just one of the cards in the energy the lovers definitely gives out that vibe in this okay yeah this person ain't playing all right they ain't playing at all now that night of one that night of one is passionate y'all already know what i say about the night of one it's a lot of readers saying it about the night of wands, and that is true. He come in with a stick in his hand. All right. Just keep it real. We all grown around here, right? Okay. I think I'm going to do another read for us today, Aries. This is just a general overall energy read. But I'm just, just to see what's going on, okay? So if you ain't into hearing about no love, it's all right. Listen to it anyway. Hit like and wish the people that's finna get this love. Wish them the best. Leave them a comment and say, I am so happy for you. Because what some of y'all don't understand is, when you happy for other people, you open up the doors for things to happen for you. When you walk around jealous of other people and looking at certain things, you closing doors for you. Shit ain't gonna happen for you. You might want a man, you might want a woman, and you right here hating on everybody else in the relationship. You making that shit get further from you. Congratulations, some people. You gonna be in a relationship too soon. Okay, the Four of Cups. The Four of Cups. So... You thought that this would never come, Aries, all right? Yeah, it kind of worried you a little bit. Had you a little worried. Um, you thought that this would never come. You thought that you'd never meet a person like this. You probably going to meet this person, like I said before, you're going to be reevaluating and trying to see if they ass is really serious because you ain't never been in a relationship like this. You know, ain't nobody treat you like this. So you're going to be looking at their ass like who, what, when, well, and why. But the energy here is good, Aries. When you get readings like this, this ain't nothing but reiteration. Okay? Just reiteration. This, like I said, universe, God, spirit, let y'all know. Okay. It's coming. It's coming. I ain't going to keep on saying this because it's because I'm showing you this and it's not coming. So be hopeful. Be hopeful. Hopeful. Hopeful for today. We got the lobster to say financial pinch. So, 
Aries, you might be going a little bit through a little financial pinch right now. You might be going through a financial pinch because you're buying stupid shit, okay? I'm just being honest. Um, You might be doing that because you've been buying lobsters and crabs and shit. That's what I'm, <laughs> that's what I'm getting from this. But I'm also getting the energy of a nice, sweet date. Y'all might have a go on a... On a on a little excursion where they um they uh harvest lobsters or some shit like that and then y'all um eat some and all that stuff but i'm feeling like a cute little engine from that okay um for some of y'all it is about a financial pinch because you're buying stupid shit but we'll get to that later okay but for now i feel like it's a it's a good it's a cute little date we got what well, i'd love to show y'all this from this the airy symbol victory in some endeavor so there is victory coming for you aries victory the bag we are something important such as a new job or a raise so i'm definitely like i said i'm gonna do a financial reading y'all next because i'm definitely feeling like some finances should improve again like i said before it's a whole lot of money in this motherfucker okay all right, so family issues, weeping willow. All right, I can already tell y'all. Some of these um, people that's going to be around y'all, friends, families, associates, whoever they may be, some of them are going to be jealous as hell of this relationship. Let them be jealous. You ain't got to tell everybody your business. Let them be jealous, okay? Good Jesus Christ, okay. We got... Taking a vacation, physically or mentally, the hammock. Like I said, I'm feeling some kind of cute little date. Y'all might be going off somewhere where they got, like like I said, where they do seafood dinners or some shit like that. We got the knot. It says unsuccessful plans. So you got successful plans, you got unsuccessful plans, okay? Now, right here about four cups. Let me tell you what I'm getting from this area. Don't sabotage. Don't sabotage. We got the mule on the bottom of the deck. It says someone is extremely stubborn and unwilling to change. Don't be stubborn like a ram, Aries. What it's saying is you're going to think and be all tied up in your feelings, okay? Thinking that this person is not who they say they are. You're going to be reevaluating and for some of you you gonna walk into this relationship just like that with ease for some of y'all y'all gonna do a whole lot of over damn thinking tying yourself up in in in, in thinking that this is gonna be unsuccessful it's gonna be another bad relationship but this that another and then you're gonna wind up letting this situation pass you by seven of swords again it's 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 the it's the energy of self sabotage. It's what I'm getting, Aries. Let's not self sabotage ourselves, okay? Let's not sabotage what we got going on, Aries. All right, let's see what the romance angels got to say about this. What do you have with the romance angel spirit? Playfulness. It said to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So it's kind of, it's just saying, lighten up. You ain't got to be thinking about, you know, have some fun. This person might be a fun kind of person. They might like to have fun. You just need to lighten the hell up, Aries, okay? Don't be thinking the worst. Do not think the worst. Okay, we have deception. Someone is wearing a false mess in a relationship. I'm honestly feeling like this is your energy, Aries, okay? This is not the person's area, uh, energy. You feel like this person could possibly deceive you because that's what happened in the last relationship, but you can't judge every damn situation by the old one, okay? Some of y'all got a sincere, loving person on the way to you. And you, you can't self-sabotage it. 
You can't. Don't do it, Aries. That's what you're watching and reading for, so you don't self-sabotage. So you don't know what's going on. Right? Right? Okay. Honeymoon tried to come out, okay? So like I said, some of y'all going on a cute little trip. Cute little trip. Y'all gonna sit down and eat some seafood, some lobster shrimp, stuff like that. Fish. Might be some kind of boating. This could be the one. What well, I tell you, Aries? This could be the one. I'm definitely feeling like it is the one. I'm going to say this is the one. You're going to know this person. The, the Bible says you know a person by their fruits. You're going to know this person by how they make they feel, how they make you feel. You're going to know this person by how they proving themselves. And that's why you're going to be feeling like this shit too good to be true. But for once in your life, you got to loosen up and enjoy this shit, Aries. Well, y'all, we like to be in control. But this situation here, we like to know what's going to happen. Sit down and evaluate that shit too long. But I'm here to just go with the flow, Aries. Light and have a light heart with this. And just have fun. Even if this shit just lasts two weeks, okay? This is the one for the two weeks. Sometimes people come for a season. Sometimes somebody come in your life just to let you know, hey, this is what it's going to be like for you for a long time. You got to give shit a chance. We have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. So you and this person are going to be sharing things about each other, getting to know each other, getting to know your likes, your dislikes, all that stuff right there. I honestly feel like well, this could be the one that love us here uh, and the two of cups. Um, like I said, it's going to take some of y'all by surprise. And you're going to be very shocked and in awe that this person shares some of the same values that you do so on such a deep level, okay? Like I said, for some of y'all, this twin flame energy. Okay. Um. Yeah, for some it's twin flame energy. Energy. What else? One more card. All right, we got unrequited love. So yes, Aries. Pay attention to the red flags on the bottom of the deck. There are no red flags. There is no unrequited love. There is no codependency. Express your love is in reverse. You're not going to want to express your love because you've been in a stupid ass, hurting ass, codependent ass relationship before. Everything was deceptive. It was unrequited. It was one-sided. Everything that was red flags you didn't pay attention to. Yes, that happened in the past, Aries. But that's not happening this time. Okay, Aries? That's not happening this time. The Three of Cups is under there because this is going to be cause to celebrate. I'm hearing big marriage vibe for some of y'all, okay? Shit, I'll take it for me too. But, <laughs> um... That's what I'm hearing. That is what I'm seeing. That is what I'm feeling. Okay, Aries? So, I'm going to come back and I'm going to do an actual financial reading. I'm going to tell Spirit that, you know, let me do this, okay? And I'm going to do a financial reading for us, okay? And see how our finance is looking so far. And anything else that Spirit give me. It, it might be financial. It might be something else. I'm also hearing another health and wellness thing, okay? It might be a health and wellness. We'll see what spirit had to give me when I come back, y'all. All right, stay tuned for the next video, and I'll see y'all in a minute. Bye!